Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Tear Down, the ultimate destruction game. Uh, we are diving right back into the new part two of the campaign. Uh, you may have seen yesterday's episode where I started part two and got introduced to robots and tornadoes and other very destructive things. I also informed you that I'm feeling a little bit sick lately, so my voice sounds a little bit different. So if you're wondering why, that is why. Um, but before we get into the campaign, there's a couple of things I haven't tried with these tools. Um, I was just testing out before I started recording here just to see what this rocket booster did. So it turns out you can just place a rocket booster on something like this and then uh, you can just ignite it. And there you go. It, it's a rocket booster. I wonder how powerful it is. What if I do this? It's got an okay amount of power, but definitely needs some upgrading. Now, a vehicle thruster is a little bit different. Let's see if I have a vehicle that I can thrust. How about this vehicle right here? All right, I don't know how vehicle thrusters work. I'm just going to put two on the back like that. Get in. All right. I'm assuming it's not going to work backing up. What about going? Oh. oh, okay. That's automatic. All I'm doing is pressing W. Do they run out though? Is this just unlimited? This will be handy for missions where you have to, you know, drive cars fast to transport things within the time limit. Oh, I didn't know that that was a greenhouse. Did we always have a greenhouse? I don't think we had this before. All right, what about blue tide? I have two blue tide. This is how fast I run normally. If I take blue tide, this is how fast I run now. And apparently I can jump higher as well. All right, so there we go. That is pretty much how those work, I guess. And then we also have nitroglycerin, which we tested out in the last episode. Big explosions. Let's see how strong these explosions are by putting this on. Oh, here's the car that we were working on in the uh, part one. Well, I'm glad we got to build that, rebuild that car. Looking forward to rebuilding it again. Car's not working no more. Okay, so as far as the robots goes, I was reading the comments from yesterday's episode. Some of you were saying that there's a couple ways to maybe kill the robots. One of them is to uh, push the robots into water if water is nearby. And another one is apparently there's a red dot on the back of the robot that if you shoot it, they'll die. I don't know if I believe that, but if we have the opportunity, I'm going to try. All right, so we have to uh, bring back shipping logs for Parisa. We have a lot of shipping logs, apparently. So let's play the mission, see what this is all about. Wired alarm box. Oh boy, here we go. It's going to be one of these missions. Breaking an alarm box or wire triggers the alarm. So that means that once we trigger one of these alarms, which I'm assuming are going to be attached to the shipping logs, we are going to get a 60 second timer if everything is the same as part one. And we're going to have 60 seconds to get every single other one of these shipping logs. So maybe, maybe not all of the shipping logs are attached to alarm boxes. So we're going to have to investigate and plan out our mission here and hope for the best. There's an optional one here. Let's go for the optional one. It's on the same level as me. It should be right in whatever this room is here. Let's hope that some of these I can just take without triggering an alarm. All right, these doors open, no problem. You can drive vehicle, is this it? Yeah, see that's an issue. That is definitely an issue. So if I trip the alarm, let's just do a quick test here. All right, so that means I'm gonna have 60 seconds to pick up every other target. At least I don't have to carry them on me. Like I can just pick them up and they're, they're acquired. But yeah, I'm gonna have 60 seconds to get every single one of these. So there's one, two, three, four, five required, and then three optional. And there's that one way over there, man. All right, this is where vehicle blue, vehicle boosters, vehicle boosters and blue tide might come into handy. All right, so let's restart mission. Okay, so this is our escape vehicle. And actually, there's one in these containers. I'll have to investigate every single one of these just to make sure that they all have a an alarm box. Oh, like, oh, no, this one does. I thought for a second this one wouldn't have an alarm box. But what this one does have is its own isolated container, meaning I can move this one closer if I just have something like this. Here, check this out. And now this one's mine. Look at that. So now I can carry this around without breaking the uh, alarm box as long as I do it gently, which I am not doing it gently at all. <laughs> I'm going to trigger the alarm any second now. Okay, let's put this down. Let's just put it down nice and gentle right there. There we go. All right. So that was kind of pointless, but I was just showing you how that works. Let's check out this one over here. The one that's isolated. That's going to be a unique one. 
Oh, look at the snow. The snow just disappears as you drive over it. That is so cool. I like that. That is really awesome. All right, so we got one over here. All right, let's see what this one's all about. Ooh, a valuable. I gotta, I gotta really keep track of valuables too. All right, there's the target. All right, so one thing I could do to make access to this one easier is just open up this wall like this. So yeah, now I can easily just run right up and grab that. Okay, so there's one that's kind of opened up, but I have a whole bunch of other ones to investigate too. All right, let's get into the mall here. And there's most of the most of them are apparently in this mall. Ooh, we got a race car. It's good to know about this race car because these things, the speed we can use to move ourselves from one area to another is really important. So, man, all of these, we already know where that one is. 13 meters, 7 meters, same level. 12 meters, same level. So the one over here is on the ground floor. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blow up this whole corner. Please don't blow up the alarm. Okay, that was a little close. Let's put this gently back on the table. There we go. All right, so now we have better access to that one. Okay, anything else on the same level as me? Ah, that one over in this corner. Man, this is gonna be so inconvenient. This is gonna take a lot of planning. Where is it? Is it over here in this room? Okay, there's safes. I wanna blow these safes up. I wanna blow this safe up. <laughs> was there anything in it? Where'd the safe go? What about this one? Can I blow this one up? Oh, I totally blew up the safe. I'm not seeing any valuables though. Man, I was really hoping there would be some valuables in these safes. There we go. All right, so now that one is easily grabbable. All right, where else, where else do we have to go? Okay, we got a lot of different, wait, what? Where is this? What is this? What is this room? Oh, this is the room here. Okay, but we can just grab it from here now because I blew a hole in this wall. Make it a little bit bigger of a hole. So I'm thinking probably the best course of action is going to be start at the top and then work our way down. And we're probably going to have to get that one last. Okay, one issue I'm seeing is um, there's not a lot of traversability up on this top floor. So if I want to get from this one, the two ones on the top floor are on opposite sides of the top floor. Oh man, I'm going to have to create some type of plank walkway or something. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, there's one below me here. It's literally below me. Oh, look at that. Oh no, I fell down. Okay, I can probably make this so I can get it through the hole down there. So if I can bring this out, place it on top, right there. Oh man, this mall is inconvenient. So that hole I made is in there, and then there is not easy access over to here. So I'm probably gonna have to put a hole through this. All right, let's see how long are my planks. I don't know how long these planks even are. Oh, can I just do that? Oh, that is so good. And then now I can pick this up, bring it towards me, and place it right there. All right, so now we can run through here. We can grab that real quick, and then we can run through here, and I think the other one's in this room? Wait, where? Oh, it's in this room? Right there. Okay. I mean, obviously, we gotta blast our way through this wall. Perfect. All right, we run through here. We can grab that. And you know what? I'm gonna just put a hole through there. I'm just gonna add some planks so we can just walk right up there. There we go. And we can go out and then there's one right over here. There we go. All right, so it is right there. So we go down, we can grab that and go in this direction, go out of this wall. Because I feel like now is where we're going to have to drive ourselves all the way over to the far one and then drive ourselves back. So where's that race car? I'm going to bring that race car out here. Come on, get through, get through. Yeah, there we go. Whoops, 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 whoops. We're fine. We're fine. This should allow us to get over to the shack very quickly. Okay, so I will park this vehicle right here. All right, so I should be able to drive right over here, get out, grab that. Head into this, and then, ooh, this isn't the cleanest path, is it? All right, let's do a quick test. Let's see what happens if I drive directly through here. 
That won't work. All right, so I am going to have to just go around, which is fine. All right, now as far as this one in the crate goes, I'm gonna try to move it so that I'm gonna grab it while I'm getting into the pink car there and place it right there. Okay, so now as we run out here, we grab it real quick, then we get in this car, head over there. All right, we're starting to have a plan get together. So now we have the end planned out. Let me do a quick save. We got all this progress saved. We got all the setup saved up. Now we need to plan our route through the mall. And I know that this is gonna be, oh, I did not plan this out correctly. I was supposed to be going from the top down to the bottom. And for some reason, I planned to go from the top outside over here, but we need to not do that. So I need to go from here. Maybe doing the top to the bottom isn't the right method. Maybe I actually gotta go up and down as I make my way left to right or right to left. There's still a lot of planning left, guys. There's actually a lot of planning left. Just the inside of the mall is gonna take so much planning with all these walkways and just inconvenient paths that are really slow. All right, I think I've figured out the order. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start spray painting it out right now. So we're gonna start off with this one right here. It's a valuable. Oh, we got a valuable. Oh, 500. Nice. All right, anyway, we're gonna start off with this one right here. And then I am going to run my way right over to this one. And then from there, I gotta go up a whole bunch of stairs. So I go up these stairs. I go up these stairs, and then I gotta go this way. Go up these stairs, and I take an immediate left, grab this one. And now, once I grab that one, then I have to go over to that other one that I already set up with the hole in the floor, but I don't have a pathway there yet, so I think I gotta plank my way across, but I can't really reach anything right now. It's gonna be really hard to plank across here. Look at what I'm making right here. This feels so dangerous, but it's feeling pretty... Dirty right now, so I'm gonna try can I jump over to that? I don't know if I can make that I'm afraid I'm gonna die if I don't oh My goodness, you know what? Let's just go straight to the more Manageable one. Oh, no, does that not fit? Oh, no, I can't reach here <gasps> Okay, and then right here. All right, so now I can walk across this so I grab that I run over here I jump up here, and I try not to fall like that. Keep going this way. All right, and then we can grab that one. That one's going to be easy to accidentally miss it as I walk by. Run through here, and we grab that one, and then we jump down here. We grab that one, then we run out here. We grab that one, we get into here, we drive over there, we grab that one, we drive back, get into the uh, van in 60 seconds. That's all that needs to happen. You think I've set this up in a way that I can do that in 60 seconds? I guess we will find out. I just realized I forgot one more thing to help me out. Vehicle thrusters. So I'm gonna do some vehicle thrusters on the back of this. Couple of vehicle thrusters here. All right, all set. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drink a blue tide right before I grab this thing. I don't know how long they last, but I only have 60 seconds. So hopefully it lasts all 60 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Come on, 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 come on. All right, up the escalator. I have no idea. All right, I'm, my game is definitely not running at full capacity. You could tell just by how slow the timer's going, but I'm also moving slower as a result, so everything kind of like evens out. I don't know if this is, we're making good time or not. Come on. Oh, come on. I was pressing E so much, I just lost so much time there. So that's, at least, I know if I lose, I can improve my time there. All right. All right, let's go out this way. 28 seconds. Oh, almost forgot that one. Oh my goodness, it's too much. It's too much. All right, get out. Grab this. 18 seconds left, 17. I think I got this. That all of them? I think that's all of them. Where's the actual van? Oh, I didn't clear the way path, or the path back, but it's fine. Plenty of time left. Woo, eight seconds left. No problem at all. <laughs> Look at that. I narrowly dodged the car that I left there. All right, it took me 28 minutes to plan that all out and then the 60 seconds to execute it. All right, let's continue. What do we get for this? Genius, reach a new rank. Did it say a new tool? 
Did it say something about a new tool? I didn't get to read it. We probably got a bunch of cash. All right, no new tools that I can see. Whoa, we got a home gym now? Whoa, look at me. Look at me, I'm lifting. I'm doing the gym thing. Is this how you gym? You gotta lift, uh, you gotta lift the gym equipment like this? All right, well, we'll replace that. All right, here, oh, maybe this is where I'm supposed to lift it. Oh my, this is actually heavy. Look how heavy that is. That's heavier than that thing. Look how easy I can lift this thing up. And look at this. <laughs> oh, the bathroom. The bathroom has a wall now. All right, privacy is no longer an issue. Well, now privacy is a little bit of an issue. There we go, we'll just expose the shower a little bit. You kind of like, you know, open floor space. It, it's just, it's just in right now. You know, it applies to bathrooms too, apparently. Okay, anyway, the computer is probably yelling at me. It's like, hey, read me. So I'm gonna go read the computer. The shipping logs gave a hit, a very distant hit, actually. How would you feel about leaving the cold weather for a trip to the Muratori Islands? It'll be like a free vacation. Well, almost, is this a new area? All right, before I check that out, let's go into our tools. I have 1100 cash. How long the effect from each bottle will last in seconds? Four seconds was it? So I'm gonna give myself some more blue, blue tide duration. All right, messages. Travel to the Muratori Islands. Do I just, oh, we're going somewhere. Oh, no way, this is so cool. We're going to a new map. What? Bye. How do I, wait, what if I, what if I need to go home? What, pick up my luggage? No, I want to explore. This is so nice looking. I don't have any of my tools. Oh, probably because it's in my luggage, maybe. Pick up my luggage. All right, take it to the bungalow. Oh, listen to that. We got some nice tropical music. Unpack my luggage. What do I got? Fire extinguisher, spray can. So I have all my basics. We're going back to the basics here. Right, I'll keep the island music playing. I, I'm living my best life in this game. This, this is amazing. There's some awesome, there's some awesome places here. All right, look at this bed. This feels luxurious. All right, what do we got for messages? Hope you've settled in after the long flight. Sorry about the rest of your tools. Yeah, I just, I was getting used to them. Couldn't find a way of getting them through security. Okay, okay, understandable. Understand, well, Miss Parisa turd, turd, turd man. My contact at the local PD gave me some intel on their alarm systems. We have to shut it off in order to access their storage rooms. The alarm system can only be disabled unnoticed if the terminals are hacked within one minute. It's a bit of a run, but I have faith in you. So what? Oh, look at this over here. So now we got our islands, the alarm system. Hack the two main security terminals and at least two communication systems within 60 seconds to shut down the alarm system. Once the alarm system has shut down, the timer will stop and you can walk safely back to the escape boat. All right, let's give it a try. I'm looking forward to this. We're doing some tropical missions now, but we don't have, I don't have, I don't have any of my tools. All I have is a sledgehammer essentially and a spray can for figuring out where I'm going, mapping out my path. That's gonna be difficult. So there are two primary targets. So this one and this one, they seem really far apart. And then we got four optional targets. I feel like this is gonna be a nightmare to 100%. Oh, do I have another tool here? Do I have tools to grab? What is this? Cable. I found cables. That's just a valuable. All right, wow, look at that. So there's one up there. But what is in here? It's locked. I can't even get in here. I don't have any tools to infiltrate these areas. Let's climb this ladder. And let's see about this one. All right. Oh, we got another tool? Hunting rifle? Okay, we're gathering tools as we do this. Hack. All right, let me do a quick experiment here. I'm gonna do a quick save. And I wanna see how long does it take to hack. All right, it takes about two seconds to hack. So I'm gonna spend 10 seconds of my 60 seconds um, on hacking terminals because the first one doesn't contribute to the time and we have six terminals to hack Oh, I could like go across the treetops and everything. Okay. How much is this gonna hurt to fall though? Okay, that's definitely tolerable. That's very tolerable. All right. What do we got over here more tools? Maybe looks like we got a Jeep that we can drive. That's good to know important stuff planks Okay, four planks though man. This is not giving us a lot to work with Ooh, a valuable is hidden behind this 500? Yes. All right. So here's another hacking terminal. Ooh. Shotgun. Only two shots with the shotgun. 
I want to be able to hack this terminal and get my way out of here quickly. So what about this wall? Nope, that wall is going to need to be blown open, potentially with the shotgun. This is not going to be... I don't know if I can do this mission with the materials I have at my disposal. At least not 100%. Okay, so we know what those two areas are like. What is this? Is that a turret? Is that a massive turret? I can probably blow stuff up with that. Oh, and what's this? More shot... I got more shotgun ammo. All right, yeah, we have to... This is an interesting... This is very, very different. We got more cables. We have to actually gather our materials as we do this this bridge is out dang what if i take this tree down nothing productive all right i'm just gonna jump down onto this beach over here all right so we got a couple over here there's one way up in that tower man the geography of this place is making this so difficult to navigate all right there's one in this building and this building is locked are these explosive here, let's do a quick save and find out. <laughs> They're not explosive. All right, what about... Oh, what about the back door? Nope, that's locked too. It is definitely right there. All right, I can't even figure out how to get inside this building yet to get this. Unless I just use some of my shotgun ammo, which is probably the way to go. But before we do that, let's get up there onto that one and see how this works. What if I can knock these towers down? But it might trigger that alarm. Oh, let's do an experiment here. Oh, look at this. It's bending. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. All right. It seems like that is a thing that is possible to at least make it easier, maybe, to access the thing at the top of the um, tower. All right. Well, anyway, there's one way over here, too. All right. Let's move across this bridge and up onto this building. Oh, it looks like I found some more planks over here. Yep. And can I use this gun? I have three shots with this turret. Okay, I knew the turrets were gonna come in handy. All right, so this building is locked, so I'm actually gonna use this turret to gain access. Whoa, 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 what is this? Let's check this out. Okay, yeah, this isn't really, a oh, oh, here we go, here we go, what is this? More shotgun ammo and a valuable, okay. At least we got something out of exploring down here. All right, right there. So that gives us access into here. What's this? Pipe bombs. All right, slowly finding more and more dangerous stuff. Whoa! I just went right through this. Oh, what is this? I got my rocket launcher? Okay. All right, and then it looks like we can hack from right here. I'm wondering, though, if I can make that fall down without uh, disabling the... Or without triggering the alarm <laughs> it went so far there we go see now i can hack it right here or look at that now i can hack it from down here so that's the good preparation right there okay all right let's go to this other tower and see what we can do all right we got what is this more hunting rifle ammo at the top of this tower what happens if we do this Oh no, here it goes. <sighs> Look at that. All right, so now I can run up this, hack this, and then potentially jump right over there. There's no way I can do all these in 60 seconds. Like, I think it might actually be impossible. All right, I got an idea with this first tower. I'm gonna try to remove the terminal from here without triggering, there we go. Look at that. Now it's on the ground. That makes it so much easier to access. Oh, I just realized I don't have to hack all of them to stop the timer. I have to hack two of the main security terminals and at least two communication systems within 60 seconds. So I only need to do four. So I need to do this one, this one, and then these two. And then the timer should stop and then I can get the other ones without having to worry. I think that's how it works. All right, let's get back over here and plan this route out. I need to get up to that building. Oh, what if? Oh, I can just take this ladder. Yes, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, then I can run over here, hack this one. And then I have to get across over here. And that is one that I don't know 
if I can do that easily. <gasps> I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, this is going to be so awesome if it works, but it's going to be difficult to set up. Oh, no. It's broken. Oh, man. This ladder is broken. All right. Gentle. It's only a little bit broken. Got to be very gentle with this. How do I maneuver this? I got to do it this way. Here we go. Here we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. All right. Please don't get damaged if I do this. All right. We're good so far. Gentle. Oh, <gasps> no. <gasps> no way. No way. It fit. It actually fit. Okay. So then I got to be able to get up this wall and I can use planks for this. So now as we get across this really sketchy ladder, we go straight up. There we go. And then there is the tower. And that'll be the last one that we have to get before we get the other last one. <laughs> Guys, this is going to be insane. Okay, now we're back to the original starting point that I haven't even gotten access to this yet. So let's go ahead and blast our way in here. Okay, that's not what I thought was going to happen. I guess over here. Where, is that the terminal? That must be the terminal. Man, these weapons are terrible. Ooh, a valuable. Yeah, that's the terminal, right? Good. All right, let me just make sure I have enough room... That's all my shotgun ammo. All right, so we're gonna hack it. Here's the plan. We hack this. We go up this ladder. We hack this satellite. We jump down here, go across this, up the planks. We run up the edge of this and hack this terminal. We jump down. We go over here and hack this terminal. And that has to happen within 60 seconds. That would be two security terminals and two communication stations within 60 seconds. Assuming that I can do this in 60 seconds. Are you guys ready? Here we go. I don't know about this. Come on. Oh, I could just like... No! Alright, trying it again. Here we go. Take two. Come on. Alright, two within like 10 seconds. Get up, get up, there we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. There we go. 30 seconds to get this other one. Come on. The timer better stop after I get these. Yes. Now I can do the optional ones without worrying about the timer. <gasps> I thought it was going to be impossible. It would it would have been impossible. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have the option for the optional ones now. Can I not get them anymore? Well, one of them was over here. Let's go to it and see if I can hack it. Oh, no. It's not going to let me hack it. I have to do all of the optional ones before I do the last primary one. So this is my path, which is pretty efficient. But if I add these last two in here, I'm going to be doing this one. And then I do one, two, three, four, five, six. But is there a way for me to get across there? I see it now. I'm going to, I'm not even going to count that one. I just loaded before I even completed it. So I need, I have some, oh, I think I missed this gun. I have some more setting up to do. All right. So the new first one is going to be this optional one over here. Cause this is, this isn't even in the tower. This is next to the tower, which means I can now disconnect this tower without having to worry of, without having to worry about triggering that one. So I'm hoping that this tower, I don't know if that tower is going to make it over there. I want to see that tower fall all the way over there. Let's see what happens. Well, that did not work as expected. Or maybe I can make this lean in a similar way that the other one did. All right, now I'm going to attempt to bring this back up to the top of the tower. But like the very top of the tower here. Ooh, there we go. All right, perfect. And then from here, I can just jump. Yes. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm proud of that. So now I got to move over to this tower and I got to bring that one down to a more accessible level. All right. So same thing. I should just be able to destroy that and then just drop it down. All right. Don't die. 
No, 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 no. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Just a little bit. Alright, hold on, hold on. I can jump on this tree. I can get it from here. There we go. And I'll just throw it. <laughs> Perfect. No problem at all. Alright, and then I can hack this one. And then run over to that one. Which I need to give myself easier access through this door, I think. Alright, so now we go in here. And I have to hack this one. And hope that I do all of that in 35 seconds. All right, this might be doable. Okay, I'm almost ready to start. So we're gonna hack this terminal. We're gonna go across this land bridge, hack this terminal, get down here, hack this terminal, go up the ladder, hack the satellite dish, go across the bridge, run up here, hack this, jump down, hack the last primary terminal. 60 seconds to do that. Are we ready? In three, two, one, here we go. Come on, I really wish I had that boost. Go, 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 go. I'm not gonna make it. I needed to do this with 35 seconds left. I think. I don't know. Or was it 25? I need to. No, I need 25 seconds left. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. Well, only one way to find out. Go, go, go. I'm not gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Especially after that. Go, no way, no, man. It's kinda close, but like, that is so close. That is really, really close. Can I do it? I don't know. I don't know if there's potential with this pathway or not. I shaved off a little bit of time there, maybe. Let me go this way instead. I think I can start moving before I finish hacking the terminals to save a little bit more time. I got up that quicker that time by using jump. Um, I have more time this time. Come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. I can't believe I did it. 1.5 seconds left. No way. <sighs> well, still at 100%. <laughs> Man, I really thought that was going to be impossible that time, but that's uh, doing the impossible. That's what I'm doing. Doing the impossible. Let's go ahead and see what's waiting for us now. But, oh, I forgot we're not going back home. We're on vacation. Is anything waiting for us back here? Do we get any, like, weapons or anything? Like, do we get... Turn off... Oh, let's keep, let's keep the music on. Okay. Great, that managed to start off the alarm. Now we need to proceed quickly before the night shift starts. Move the barrels from their storage rooms to secure evidence. Bring the bring them with you and the local PD will have them shipped to me. Mission, moving the goods. So it looks like it's on the same area and we have to collect evidence by moving at least three out of six. Looks like we're gonna have six options. Three of the heavy barrels to the escape boat. Now, I don't know if that's going to be another 60 seconds to do all that. And if the barrels are going to be connected to alarms. But we're going to have to wait for the next episode to find that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I definitely did. A lot of planning in this one. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss some future episodes. Also, if you're part of Wedge Gang, you're definitely going to want to see tomorrow's video. So make sure you're prepared for that if you're still watching this video. Anyway, if you want to see more Teardown, go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this is been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.